All right, everyone, welcome. I'm uh, Charlie Napolitano, the Chief Operating Officer of B2I Digital. Uh, here at B2I, uh, we work with public companies to build investor awareness through digital marketing. One of our featured companies is joining us today, and that's uh, Wolf. First off, before I even go into it, Wolf is uh, probably the best name that I've ever that I've ever heard. Uh, is that short for anything, or is it just no? Wolf? No, it's just Wolf. So. Uh, love it. And then, um, and then, just so everyone knows, and I get it right, how do you pronounce your last name? It's Regener. So pleasure to to have you here today, uh, today, Wolf uh, uh, Regener, the CEO of Calibri Global Energy Inc. And uh, you know, we just want to take a little bit of time to learn more um, about your company, so that our audience um, could uh, could take some time to to dive in and learn more about you. Uh, before we get started, of course, you know, I just want to mention that uh, you know this is in no way an attempt to uh, to solicit someone to purchase a stock. Uh, you know, we're just here today to learn more about the company. We obviously believe in you as a featured company, and uh, and I think from a legality standpoint, I'm covered there, right, Wolf? What do you think? Is that good? Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's uh, start off with uh, telling us about Calibri's philosophy of field development. All right. Um, we basically believe in doing the science, and we take a methodical approach to what we do. Um, doing the science up front costs some additional money, but it pays for itself many times over uh, as you develop the field. On the field development, being methodical, because you don't know exactly know what's going on underground, right? So you do the science, you say, okay, here's what this looks like. But like your highest initial production rates from something might always not re relate to the largest reserves or the best rate of return. So, you know, you sometimes have to experiment a little bit when you're uh, going into different intervals, testing different things. And along the way, we strive for constant improvement as well. And each area is unique, and that's why we have to test different horizons and different ways of doing things. And so if you change more than one thing at a time, you don't know which one worked and which one didn't work. And so really, it's very much on the methodical side of things, using as much science as we can, and uh, just going around the right way, just because you don't want to waste money. You don't want to burn money um, unnecessarily. Interesting. And can you give us uh, an example of how this philosophy has benefited the yeah. company on something specific? Yeah, actually, um, actually on our current field. So we originally drilled for what was called the Woodford Shale out here, which is very gassy. We ended up selling that to Exxon. But because we did the science, uh, we saw that there was another formation that was a little shallower, only about 350 feet above it, called the Caney. And so we started testing that and realized that that looked really prospective. But in order to make economic wells out of the Caney, we had to actually modify both our drilling and our completion over what we had learned from the Woodford. So even though we're in the same field, um, we had to do things quite a bit differently in the Caney in order to make things work economically and get a great rate of return. So really, if we had rushed it, drilled a bunch of wells, just like we had drilled into the Woodford, we would have been potentially wrong, <laughs> which it looks like. Um, we wouldn't have made those modifications that would have led to poor, just poor performing wells. That's a tongue twister, uh, <laughs> and basically wasting money. So, you know, by going a little methodically developing it, that's led us to making really good wells now that we're making, uh, as we're going forward here. Understood. So, so how does this approach differentiate, uh, Calibri from other companies in the industry? Well, some other companies I've seen that have rushed into areas where like the initial production looked good. So they drilled a bunch of wells right away and then all of a sudden they're nine months or a year later and the estimated recovery from those wells is 50% or less than what they expected. And suddenly, you know, the economics go out the window, they wasted a bunch of money. If they hadn't done that, then maybe they either could have modified what they were doing or how they were doing it to get more reserves out of the ground on those wells. Or if that project ended up not being the right project because it wasn't going to go economic, then they would have had money left over to go after a different project. Right? That's pivoting into something else. So rushing in, drilling a bunch of wells makes a good press release sometimes, but isn't always the best thing for your company. Of course. But how does uh, Calibri balance the need for growth and its measured approach to the development? Well, really, we wanted to get production up to a certain level 
uh, near where we are now. So up till now, we've been reinvesting all of our cash flow back into drilling additional wells. Um, but now we're at the stage where we have options. So we have optionality with this cash flow. <clears throat> uh, recently, actually, our board approved a share buyback program. So for the next year, um, we're going to be looking to buy back shares potentially uh, continuing into 2025. Um, but also we're going to balance what we do with growth versus returning money to shareholders. And so we have a lot of flexibility. You have the cash flow at a certain level, then you have that flexibility as far as what you can do. Excellent. I think people are going to find this uh, very interesting. Uh, I guess the final question would be, uh, how does the company's philosophy influence its decision making when considering new opportunities? Uh, well, really, it's about doing the best thing for the shareholders. Um, it's not a row at all cost type of situation. Again, that would be wasting money. Um, I don't like wasting money. Any new opportunities that we have that we get into have to really be accretive and has to benefit the shareholders. So the fact that we're undervalued on our market cap versus our proved reserve value makes acquisitions tougher, but that means we're still looking. So again, not rushing in anything, don't wanna waste money. We run a lean operation here overall, and we believe that in all aspects. Fantastic. Well, we'll really appreciate you taking the time, uh, you know, to tell us, you know, about your company and uh, and love to uh, to follow more through, you know, all your social media platforms and see, uh, you know, how you guys uh, continue to grow. And um, and if there's any other last things that you'd like to to mention before we sign off, but otherwise, um, it's been a pleasure. Well, likewise, I appreciate everyone uh, taking a look at this as well and appreciate your time in uh, doing this and uh, look forward to it. We're always open for questions. So anyone in there who has questions, feel free to reach out to us. Fantastic. And if anybody does want to, of course, uh, you know, you guys can reach out at the uh, B2IDigital.com website uh, where you could uh, learn more about Calibri and uh, fill out information to get uh, to learn more. Thank you, everybody.